Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is linear convolution using circular convolution. This is the last part as far as the types of circular convolution are concerned. In earlier videos, we have studied how to calculate circular convolution using different method. Like we have studied calculation of circular convolution using graphical method that is contrastic uh, circle method then using matrix method and then using DFT method. Next is linear convolution using circular convolution. Now from the exam point of view we will first discuss the answer of the question why results of linear and circular convolution are not same. Before that the linear convolution is denoted by y of n it is expressed as x of n asterisk h of n. This notation asterisk represents linear convolution. x of n and h of n are two given sequences. Particularly x of n is input sequence, h of n is impulse response. So x of n asterisk h of n gives the value of y of n which is the linear convolution. Now circular convolution is denoted by y of m which is expressed as x of n this symbol writing a circle drawing a circle and writing n inside it represents circular convolution so h of n it is read like this n point circular convolution of x of n and h of n is y of m now the question is why result of results of linear and circular convolution are not same let us discuss this answer first suppose there are two sequences x of n let us say some values we will consider 1, 2, 3, 4 and h of n again we will consider a few values say 1, 0, 1, 0. These are the given sequences. If you perform the circular convolution then the answer contains n number of samples. The result of linear convolution is given by n and equation of n is L plus m minus 1. L represents number of samples in X of N. M represents number of samples in H of N. So if I will put the values, I will get 4 plus 4 minus 1. That is equals to 7. That means if you perform linear convolution of these two sequences, you will be getting 7 number of samples. Whereas if you perform circular convolution of these two sequences, then there will be same number of samples as that of x of n and h of n. So each sequence x of n and h of n contains four samples. So in the result of circular convolution there will be four samples. Whereas in the result of linear convolution there will be seven samples. This is the reason why answers of linear and circular convolution are not same. Then there is one method by which you can perform uh, the linear convolution using circular convolution. That means you can obtain same answers of both linear and circular convolution. Let us solve one numerical to get this concept more clear. The problem is obtained linear convolution of x of n 1 2 3 4 h of n 1 1 1. These are the given sequences. If arrow is not mentioned in any sequence by default it is at first position obtain the same result using circular convolution. Now how to do it? Just now I told you number of samples in the sequence x of n is denoted by L. So value of L will be 4 because there are 4 samples in x of n. Number of samples in h of n is denoted by M. There are 3 samples in h of n. So M is equals to 3. The result of linear convolution contains n number of samples. Value of n is given as L plus m minus 1. So simply if I will put this value, I will get 4 plus 3 minus 1 that is equals to 6. That means if I will perform linear convolution, I should get 6 number of samples in the answer. Let us first complete the linear convolution. These are the two given sequences. Now there are different methods of performing linear convolution. Let us use the simplest method that is the tabular method of linear convolution. How to perform the convolution using tabular method? I will be drawing a table like this. Now suppose I will write sequence x of n over here. 1, 2, 
थ्री फोर एनी सिक्वेंस कैन बी रिटर्न वर्टिकली अनदर सिक्वेंस कैन बी रिटर्न हॉरिजेंटली एनीथिंग विल डू वी कैन वेल इंटरचेंज द सिक्वेंस सो वट आई हैन आई हैव रिटर्न एक्सोपियन वर्टिकली एचोपियन हॉरिजेंटली लाइक दिस नाउ कंसिडर द फर्स्ट इलेमेंट ऑफ दिस सिक्वेंस इट इज वन बाय वन मल्टीप्लाय एवरी टर्म राइट इट ओवर हियर सो वन 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 then consider second term second term is 2 again same procedure by 2 multiply each term so you will get 2 2 2 then same way consider third 3 uh, but then by 3 multiply each term so it is 3 3 3 same way multiply every term of this sequence by last element 4 you will get 4 4 4 so what i did i have written one sequence horizontally one vertically and by each sequence by each sample by each value i have multiplied each element of this sequence h of n next part is you need to draw diagonal lines how to draw the diagonal lines the rule is that always inside the first diagonal line there must be only one value so to start with i have drawn this diagonal line inside which i should get only one value Value can be anything. Presently, it is one. Then after that, go on marking parallel diagonal lines to the first line like this. It's pretty simple method. Like this. Only the rule is that inside the first diagonal line there must be only one value. Now, from this you can directly write the answer of linear convolution. How to do it? Answer of linear convolution is y of n, which is equals to. Inside first diagonal line, I have the value one, so I will write this answer as one. Second diagonal line, inside this second diagonal line, there are two values two and one. Simply add these two values, so answer will be three. Then consider this third diagonal line. I can add these all values, so three plus two plus one, answer will be six. Next, add these values four plus three plus two, that is nine. then next value is 7 and last value is 4 very simple this is the answer of linear convolution what we got after performing direct linear convolution up to this stage i haven't performed anywhere the circular convolution this is the first part of question that we have calculated the linear convolution of these two sequences now next part is obtain the same result using circular convolution the remaining part is we have to obtain same result same answer using circular convolution how to do it just now we discussed l is equals to 4 which represents number of samples in x option m3 number of samples in h option from this formula n i got a value of n which is equals to l plus m minus 1 which is equals to 6 now i don't want to calculate linear convolution directly i have to calculate circular convolution and answer should be same as that of linear convolution how to do it once you will get value of n value of n is 6 make the length of given sequences that is x of n and h of n equals to 6 present length length means number of samples in the given sequence present length is 4 there are four samples i want to make it make the length equals to 6 so two samples are remaining that means i will be adding two zeros in the previous videos also we discussed that if you are adding number of zeros required number of zeros in order to adjust the length of any sequence it is called as zero padding so i am using two zeros to make length of x of n equals to 6 same way h of n its length is 3 because it contains three samples i want to make its length equals to 6 so naturally i need to add three zeros so i will write sequence h of n Like one, 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 and three times zero. Now consider these two sequences, and we have to perform circular convolution. But the answer should be same as this answer. This is the answer of linear convolution. You have a choice. You can use any method uh, uh, of uh, performing circular convolution. I will choose simplest method. That is the matrix method. How to perform circular convolution using matrix method? See. any sequence for example uh, any sequence can be written as a as a matrix of size 6 rows and 6 column because value of n is 6 any sequence out of these two will do let us write sequence x of n as a column matrix first like this 
first I have written this as a column. Then recall the rules shift the zero at the top position. That is shift last element at the top position. If you shift it at the top position, every sample will be shifted downward. So zero will come over here. Likewise, this one will be shifted over here. Two will be shifted over here. Three will be shifted over here. Similarly, four and the zero will be shifted over here. Follow the same procedure. Again, shift the zero at the top position like this. This is zero, then the zero will come downward. Likewise, every sample will come downward like this. Again, shift it. So it is four, zero, zero, one, two, three. Then again, if you shift it, it becomes three, four, zero, zero, one, two. Up to which value you need to shift? Very simple. Value of any six. So this matrix should have the size six rows and six columns. Now it is five columns. So I need to shift it once again. So it becomes two, three, four, zero, zero, one. This is the matrix of size six by six, six rows and six columns. This is the matrix which I have generated by rotating each sample of X option. Now write the sequence H of N as a column matrix. So it is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now remaining part is pretty simple. You have to just perform the matrix multiplication of these matrices. I hope you are aware how to perform the matrix multiplication. This row and this column. So multiply every term. Keep in mind the last three elements are zero. So without thinking last values you can write zeros. For example, if I'm performing multiplication of these two sequences, I can write it like this. I'm considering this row and this column. So one into one, one. So one plus zero into anything is zero plus zero into anything is zero. Last three elements are four, three, two. Here last three elements are zero. So I will get three zeros. Like this. Similarly, consider second column. Again, perform multiplication. So, 2 into first value. There is 2 plus 1 into 1, 1. Then, after that, I have 0. So, it becomes 0. Last three elements of these are 0. So, directly I will write 3 zeros. Then, consider third row. It is 3 plus 2 plus 1. Last three elements are 0. Consider fourth row. Only you have to take multiplication of first three samples with one. So that means in, in, indirectly you have to write these values directly. So first three samples will be 4 plus 3 plus 2. Remaining three samples are 0. Next, keep first three samples as it is remaining three samples are 0. So it is 0 plus 4 plus 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Last, keep these three samples as it is because you are multiplying it with one. So it becomes 0 plus 0 plus 4. Last three values are 0. Simply perform the addition. So I will write the result of this multiplication as y of m over here. First value 1 plus all zeros becomes 1. Next value 2 plus 1 3. Next value 3 plus 3 6. Next value 9 4 plus 3 plus 2. Next value 4 plus 3 7. Next value 4. So this is the answer of circular convolution. Observe that same answer we have earlier generated using linear convolution. This is the answer of the first part which we got using linear convolution. So this is the technique how you can obtain or how you can, you can perform linear convolution using circular convolution. It is very much simplified technique. Dear students, if you haven't yet observed the earlier videos of circular convolution, do watch it. I will provide the link in the description box. So that's it for today's uh, video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.